How's it going, everybody? My name is Efren Sainz. I hope y'all are doing well. Today is Mother's Day, at least for the Dominican people in the Dominican Republic, you know, like me. <laughs> so happy Mother's Day to people out there. I forgot to mention it during the actual, like, American Mother's Day, but hey, whatever it is, what it is. Happy Mother's Day to the American the United States people, too. <laughs> but regardless, I'm here with a video on manga and anime, right? Because I feel like if you look into the nitty gritty, it's really interesting how how they connect right because of course they connect right you make it you make a manga and then it gets animated but i want to go more into that right because there's different versions of that so without further ado let's begin so you have manga the genesis of what becomes an anime but manga usually sometimes they don't become an anime like berserk has had adaptations but there's no definitive long arching anime that shows berserk's entire story there are only two that show the golden age and that's it because the first one showed it when it was happening and the second one showed it and it wasn't that good <laughs> so you have stuff like that but then you have the more common trope where you have the manga it becomes really popular and then it gets adapted into an anime and people are really excited or really scared because at the end of the day an anime adaptation isn't always going to be perfect so you see the correlation between the two where one can't exist without the other but that's a lie because they both can like with berserk one can exist while the other doesn't and more more commonly the manga doesn't ex or does exist and the anime doesn't but there are some cases where the anime comes first and there isn't a manga or the an the anime comes first and then later on there is a manga and i always find that super interesting because it just shows it doesn't matter if you start with that medium or the other at the end of the day it's just storytelling you're trying to tell a story and they're just mediums for doing it so what i'm trying to get at is that with these two mediums there comes so many like elitist mindsets or not just elitist but just mindsets in general where let's go to the manga right you have people that buy you have people that illegally sell the seven seas for online you have people that get color scans, you have fan dubs, all of this. You have a whole subculture like Dojins that spawned fan fiction, everything. You have all this that can come from manga and people's opinions on it, right? How you feel about it. At the end of the day, it's words and pictures, so it's hard to have different opinions except like maybe your art style, the preferred the preferred art style, or the paneling for a certain artist, or the storytelling, or the vernacular, or translations scans all of this right or just how long or short the story runs for but that's more getting into the manga itself than it is like the actual medium right and then you have anime where it's like how well it's adapted the english japanese any like dubbing or subbing or anything like that and just overall the quality of the animation if it skips over some stuff if it adds too much if it has filler if it has padding all of this and they each have their own ways of going about it but when you look into its own original like there's no manga for the anime or there's no anime for the manga it's like this is it this is all you get for me when i started watching anime i watched the popular ones like dragon ball then i went into full metal alchemist naruto some of it at least one piece fairy tale all of this right I didn't even read manga because I never thought to. I didn't even really know what manga was <laughs> for a good while. And then I learned about it. It's like, oh, yeah. So they come from the manga and then they're adapted. It's like, that's super cool. And I never had like a negative uh, affinity towards manga. I just never read it because I'm, I didn't really like reading. <laughs> school, my school at least, kind of ruined reading for me. So I was just like, man, actually, funnily enough, for, for lore on my life. In, in seventh grade, I used to have these book reports due like every week. And I was like, oh, read a chapter. Tell me what it's about for my teacher. And I was like, all right, I was watching Bleach at the time. And I would take a Bleach episode or maybe two and I would put it, the plot of it, into the book report. <laughs> and you're thinking, but why not just read the manga chapter? It's like, as far as I was concerned, I was doing that by watching the episode, right? So, and she never knew. She genuinely never knew. She, she as far as she was concerned, she, she thought I was actually doing it. And I was like, man, it's, it's, it's horrible. A horrible misuse of my power. 
you 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 look at that my progression towards that and then you see me when I'm watching shorter shows getting more into anime and then I start reading manga and I think the first manga that I ever read I think was One Piece to catch up to it either One Piece or Jujutsu Kaisen I don't remember which one it was one of those two and if I'm not remembering correctly I might be forgetting one I I don't know but that's definitely one of those two and I did it on the channel you know it's just like ever since then I've been reading more and more and more usually to catch up to a show that stopped and hasn't hasn't finished yet and I'm catching up through the manga like Black Clover but I've started reading more manga that aren't adapted to anime or like reading the manga first and that's so cool to me because I never I didn't get into anime through manga I got into anime through anime the more popular medium because animation is just more popular than books that's just how entertainment goes and I just like I feel like I tapped into such a market such a market where I can read whatever and there's a lot of overlap, of course, but there's so much more. There's mangas out there. That I have some friends in a Discord server that tell me all the time about these mangas that I should read. And it's just, I never heard of these before. I never ever heard if they were, were animated before or not until they told me about it. And they have like hundreds of chapters. And it just goes to show how different they are as a medium. It's weekly shonen jump type stuff, you know? You get a hundred chapters, you may never get animated. And that's just insane, bro. And just looking at their connection, it, it's not as closely connected as I thought. And I like to look at it now. It's like, I do both. But yeah, I know this video seems like a little rambly, but there is a point behind it. So I hope you all understand it. If not, then let me know in the comments so I can try to explain further. But thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.